Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. The Arnold Classic Ohio 2023 was a total success. Credit to the governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the producer, promoter, Brian Powers. What a great event. Let's get down to business. Laura Lee Chaparros, the best I have ever seen Laura Lee. She was overconditioned at the Olympia. She lost a little bit of her curves, which is her advantage against a lot of the competitors. She filled up at the Arnold Classic. She had curves in the perfect conditioning. There was some softness to Laura Lee, but also she wasn't too soft. She wasn't too conditioned. She nailed it. Congratulations, Laura Lee. We need that same physique at the Olympia. This might be the year that she breaks through at the Olympia. On the wheelchair division, Harold King Kong Kelly dominates. Yes, last year, Gabriele Andriuli was more conditioned. Harold was not at his best, but he came back to storm the stage to reestablish that he is the king of the wheelchair division. Congratulations. Let's move on to fitness, Ariel Kadar. I thought Ariel was superb. There was maybe a few transitions where she could have had a little bit more fluidity, but she is definitely a contender going to the Olympia. The key question is, can you now attack Whitney Jones and Missy Truscott? And I believe at this Mr. Olympia, yes, Ariel Kadar, the two-time Arnold Classic champion, can finally make a move and attack those two champions. She has all the tools. She has the athleticism. She has the physique. Now it's time to put it all together and go battle against Missy Truscott and Whitney Jones. Moving on to men's physique, Aaron Banks. Yes, he's just as good as it gets. Tall, athletic, large clavicle bones. The chest continues to fill up. And yes, from the back, the guy is incredible. Listen, this guy has won two Arnolds and the Olympia. And we might be looking at a competitor that's just starting his dynasty. Now, Diogo Montenegro put on a good fight, but I believe the guy who's really gonna challenge him is going to be either Brandon Hendrickson or a super, super comeback of Jeremy Buendia. We'll see what happens, but Aaron Banks might be a name for the years to come. We'll see what happens, but this guy seems to be very, very dominant. Yes, wellness, Cassandra Gillis versus Angela Borges. There were people that loved Angela Borges. Some people loved Cassandra, and it was a very close battle between them. Now, Angela Borges is superb from the front. Cassandra is superb from the back. She could add a little bit more uh, glutes, a little bit more legs, but it's a battle for the ages. Now, Cassandra lost to Angela Borges, at the Olympia, but I thought her physique got better and Angela Borges was just as good. Now, this is a battle that we're going to see at the Olympia and it's 1-1. At the Olympia, Cassandra and Angela will face off again and nobody would be surprised if Angela got Cassandra at the Olympia, but Cassandra is a formidable competitor. She placed fourth at the Olympia, came better at the Arnold and beat Angela. We'll see what happens at the Olympia. Moving on to classic physique. Yes, Ramon Dino, the big dinosaur from Brazil, beats the German machine. This was Ramon's best conditioning. This was his best physique. Now, Ramon was highly criticized in Brazil by the Brazilian fans. They were saying, you're not posing well. That's why you lost to Sebum. Well, his posing was good, but it could have been better, and it was better at the Arnold. Now, he's going to have to get even better to face Sebum. Sebum is a man that when he gets on stage, there's an aura to him. And if you want to ballot it out against the best in the classic physique, you're gonna have to same the same kind of aura that the champion has. Here's the challenge, and here we go bodybuilding oh yes we're not scared to talk about anything let's go to akeem williams 
Akeem Williams was better on Saturday than Friday. When Akeem Williams is conditioned, his side pose, especially that side chest with that huge leg, he's as good as he gets. Pay attention to Akeem Williams because he's already placed fifth at the Olympia and now he places sixth. Akeem Williams is one of those guys that everybody who knows bodybuilding loves. And if he nails, he's as dangerous as it gets. Akeem, I know you like to be the underdog, but you're no longer the underdog. We see you coming. Now in fifth place, Sean Clarita. Guys, this was the best Sean Clarita I have ever seen. There was a lot of people saying if he gains a little bit of size, he's going to lose his lines. He didn't. He looked even better than the Olympia. Sean Clarita is unstoppable. I don't think at the 212 anybody can challenge him at this point. But he's going to lose on the muscularity round for some of the big guys. But Sean, bring that physique to the Olympia and it's going to be very hard to beat you. Moving on to fourth place, Big Rami. Yes, he was vastly better. I want to give credit to Chad Nichols. I did a live with him and Chris Cormier, and he said, Tarek, he's going to be better, and he was right. The legs were better. He opened that back double biceps. Hey, there's still some room for improvement, but I think Big Rami is shocking the world. A lot of times when we talked about Mr. Olympia's getting hurt, it was done. They never got better. Big Rami is getting better, and I'm excited to see, with a little bit of polishing, if he can go back to the winning circle at the Mr. Olympia. Andrew Jacked. Yes, this guy is a human statue. A lot of people said, you need to be more conditioned. There's a film of water. We need to be better. He came in, and his conditioning was on point. Credit to Coach Chris Aceto and Psycho Lewis. That was the best Andrew Jack. My only thing with Andrew was possibly he lost a little bit of fullness, especially on the prejudging on the chest. And because he's tall, got a little streamlined, but his conditioning was on point. And that's a better formula than overly full at the Olympia. So now we need to bring the same conditioning and we need to have that fullness on top. Great job, Andrew Jack. Nick Walker, the mutant. The unstoppable force, he's undeniable. Muscularity, conditioning, people love Nick Walker and there's so much to love about him. He's captivating, he's a huge crowd pleaser. People love his energy. Nick Walker is unbelievable on muscularity and he probably the most consistent guy on conditioning in the last two, three years. What we need to solve here is symmetry and balance, okay? So we talk about, well, the waist is a bit wide, but forget about the waist, it's the complete package. When you have a bodybuilder that has large clavicle bones, he makes the waist look small. For Nick Walker right now, the key question is, is if we can get the quads flaring up more, that's going to make him more aesthetically pleasing. And that is the only criteria, but it's definitely one of the most important criteria for Nick Walker to go and win the Mr. Olympia. If he can just get his posing to make the waist small on that front double biceps and front lat spread, if he can just get his legs to be a little bit wider, and that will make the waist a little bit smaller. Now, it's a complete package, which takes a little bit away from the symmetry of a bodybuilder. And that's where Samson Dowda got him. Now, Samson Dowda had the same lines that he had at the Arnold from the Olympia. Nothing changed. What changed for Samson Dowda was his conditioning. His conditioning was better and that made him get close to some of the top guys. If he presented that conditioning at the Olympia, he would have been right there with Nick Walker, with Derek Lunsford and Hadi Schupan. We saw the best of Samson Dowda right now at the Arnold. Now, a lot of people talk about his aesthetically pleasing lines, and he might just be the best lines in bodybuilding nowadays, possibly better than Derek and Hadi. But one thing that most people are 
miss, missing on this argument is the fact that Samson Dauda is massive. We are not talking about a 230 pound aesthetically pleasing guy. We are talking about a 285, 290 pound, six feet tall, aesthetically pleasing competitor. That is a lot of muscle with beautiful lines, with an improved conditioning. Was his conditioning perfect? No, but it was better. And that's the goal for him. If he wants to win the Olympia, he's gotta have that conditioning that possibly Andrew Jack and Nick Walker have. And if Nick Walker never, ever wants to lose to Samson Dauda, get those legs bigger. Pose more aesthetically pleasing in some poses and you will be right there. This was a battle for the ages. This was Dexter Jackson versus Branch Warren. And just like the past, these guys are going to battle for years to come. And we, as fans, will benefit from it. My name is Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. I'm so excited, I cannot stop. I'll see you at the Mr. Olympia.